So it's been oh, roughly one year with the Peak Design aluminium tripod and I thought I'm going to do a follow-up review on this tripod because I think it is a fantastic tripod. However, it got a few weak points. And before we're diving into the weak points of the aluminium travel tripod from Peak Design, let's talk about the good things of the things I liked over the last year. First of all, it's still a size and the build quality of a tripod. As you can see, this tripod isn't really much bigger than a water bottle. And this was the main selling point from Peak Design, that you have a nice, slim, compact travel tripod you almost can wrap your hands around. The build quality, the materials they used for this tripod is fantastic and it still looks decent even after one year of abuse taking it out in the rain or any sort of similar situation. So the materials are still nice, you might got a few scratches but nothing crazy. When looking for a travel tripod you try to go as light as possible, as small as possible but also at the same time as high as possible and you're looking for a decent payload from your ball hand. The Peak Design is rated up to 20 pounds which is roughly 9 kilograms or equals around 9 kilograms. So personally speaking with the Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV or even the X-T4 plus the 50 to 140 you still got enough gap, enough payload you could throw onto this tripod so having 20 pounds worth of payload for this tripod i think it's a fantastic number and quite frankly whenever do you put nine kilogram onto your travel tripod when it comes down to traveling with your tripod you look for something easy you look for something what is easily to unfold easily to build up and then ready to use the peak design in this case i found very easy to use you literally just pull the legs apart and then you got those clamp locks which you can open all at once with your hand or your thumb and then you pull the whole leg out and then you just close your little clumps and you're ready to go and it literally just takes you a second to unfold the whole tripod which can be very handy and convenient in certain moments when you need to be fast so having a fast tripod is definitely handy but what if you wanted to take some behind the scenes when you're out on a shoot because for your reels, for your shorts, vertical mode, those features are needed nowadays. And Peak Design thought about this already a couple of years back and built a small smartphone holder with into the tripod. I personally have never used it. But if you need a smartphone holder for your tripod to take some behind the scenes, to take a selfie of yourself, you got also a smartphone holder built into your tripod. Last but not least on my pro list for this tripod is basically the carrier case you get from Peak Design as well, which is a nice, slim, good looking little carrier case. It's weather resistant or at least waterproof as well. So if you don't use your tripod, you easily can pack it in a carrier case, put it in your cupboard or put it in your backpack and it's nicely stored the way. But now there are definitely also a few cons about this tripod. We definitely should talk about and you definitely should consider when it comes down to the Peak Design Travel Tripod. But now let's actually talk about the things I don't like about the Peak Design. And the first point would be the price. Price is around 300 pounds onwards. It depends a bit which country you live at, if it's pounds, dollars, euros. 300 pounds for a tripod is a lot of money. And you can buy cheaper tripods which are doing exactly the same thing. So it's definitely a consideration point where you need to decide if 300 pounds is worth spending into the peak design. Personally speaking, I don't regret it so far but 300 pounds is definitely a number. Second con of this tripod is definitely the weight. With 3.44 pounds, which equals roughly 1.6 kilogram, it isn't the lightest aluminum tripod on the market. And some cheaper tripods, which are doing exactly the same thing, are lighter than this tripod. So definitely a consideration point. How much do you hike maybe? How much do you carry your tripod around? How much is the weight important to you when it comes down to a tripod? For me personally the 1.6 kilogram or 3.44 pounds roughly aren't a big deal breaker. I found it still fairly light when it comes down to the size and weight of this tripod. But also I had the lucky time that my center column button the spring inside from this button broke I'm not saying that this happened with every single peak design tripod it happened to me unfortunately so it's a 
a minus point for the tripod, but not a huge factor to say, oh, I'm not buying this tripod because the center column button broke. Things happen sometimes and things break. So it's just a little point to consider if this might be a little downside for you as well. So I got three more points to consider when buying the Peak Design. If you need a tripod and you use a lot of times your phone holder, then this tripod maybe isn't for you necessarily. Because personally I found this hook which holds your phone holder inside the pole is a bit tricky to get in and out and I'm always fiddling around to get it back in. So definitely a little downside to say this phone holder like you need to fiddle around and then you need to see how you get it back in. Now when I do it upside down it's actually fairly easy but if you put your tripod correctly down how you meant to and then you're fiddling around it's a bit tricky to put in. The carry case you get with the Peak Design aluminium travel tripod and probably with the carbon fiber version as well are nice. It's nice, looks good, it's weather resistant or at least waterproof or weather resistant waterproof, waterproof rather weather resistant, you get a point. I found it sometimes a bit tight and you need to squeeze your tripod in this bag and then you try to zip it up. I found that the carry case is a tiny bit too small for the actual tripod. But this also can be just my own personal opinion. I always struggle a bit to squeeze it into the carrier case. So I try to take a tripod out as often as I can, just without the carrier case. But now let's come down to the biggest con in certain ways in, on my list. And this is the ball head. The thing though is, if you think about normal traditional ball heads or tripods, you got your little column here or your cylinder and then you got a little gap here on the side usually where you twist in or rotate your ball head in and then you can move your ball head left right how you want it and it lines always nicely up it's easy to adjust to 90 degrees to have it level with the peak design ball head you got those three little pins underneath and those pins don't always line up correctly. So sometimes you need to find how to adjust your ball head to the side to always make it work. So if we take a ball head now from this and twist it to the right, it works. But then you don't always can rotate it up to 90 degrees because this little pin is in a way. So you need to either turn the whole tripod around or you need to find a different gap where you can nicely line it up to have it 90 degrees for vertical videos. So this is not necessarily a bad thing because this is a design how Peak Design made it and also when you close the tripod back down everything fits nicely into the tripod itself and you don't have any parts sticking out. However if you shoot a lot of vertical videos, reels, TikToks or shorts then this is a point to consider before buying the Peak Design tripod. If you shoot a lot of 19 by 6 what? 19 by 6 landscape videos, then it's not a big deal because you just undo the button, you pull out your tripod to the height you would like to have it, you twist it, you adjust it how you would like to have it. Another little point which you definitely need to consider that the lock button from an Arca Swiss plate and to tighten up ring from a ball head itself are very close to each other so you can accidentally open your ball head and open your Arca Swiss plate and then you take a risk of dropping your camera so definitely a point you need to consider with those two rings because you can easily crop your lock which is the top ring and the bottom ring is for the ball head itself and you can open it both together and then if you're not carefully you might drop your camera. So definitely a few points to consider before you buying the Peak Design Travel Tripod. So overall I found it a fantastic tripod. No product is perfect and every single product on the market got some sort of weak points or things you need to take a shortcut because you can't have all in one product. Overall, I'm very happy with the Peak Design tripod. It's easy to use, fast to unfold, and it's ready in a few seconds before you use it. I think the biggest weak point of the tripod is a bit of ball head with the lock mechanism and the adjustment ring close to each other. So you need to be careful that you don't unloosen or unlock your lock for your Arca Swiss plate. 
but overall a fantastic tripod. But before I forget it, big shout out to Peak Designs customer service. As I mentioned, I broke my center column button here a couple of <laughs> months ago already and they been very helpful when it comes down to replacing their parts from a product. Peak Design offers a lifetime warranty and I contacted contacted the customer service, explained the problem, what happened, what I need or what can we do about the situation and they offered the replacement without any issues. They didn't question it. You need to prove that you purchased the tripod. You need to prove or you need to show them an example of the problem, what been broken or give them a little explanation what happened. But there weren't any sort of questions, any questioning of myself so big shoot out to peak design to organizing a replacement column button very easy very soon the only downside is that i'm waiting already around three months of this replacement part i requested it already in november last year and now it's february and i'm still waiting off it unfortunately that's probably also to, has to do with the world situation itself but generally speaking big thumbs up to the customer service from peak design no issue there and overall i'm still very happy with this tripod it fits in my backpack without any issues. It's small, compact, but still high enough as well if you look to easily film yourself if you wanted to. So with that said, guys, I hope you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'm gonna see you, my friend, very soon in another video. Cheers, mate.